Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 15 on page 83. Determine the coordinates of the points on the graph y equal to x cubed plus 2 at which the slope of the tangent is 12. Step 1. Find the general slope y equals to x cubed plus 2. When you find the general slope, you have to find y prime and you can apply the power rule. When you think about the exponent and the number at the front, this means you can take 3 times 1, which is 3. You copy x. You take the exponent and you subtract 1, which is 2. Plus, when you find the derivative of a constant, the answer is always going to be 0. But again, you can still go back and apply the power rule to justify this. So for example, 2 is the same as 2 times 1. But 1 is x to the power of 0. And just like the first term, you can take the exponent, multiply to the number at the front. 0 times 2 is going to be 0. Take the exponent, subtract 1. And effectively, 0 divided by 0 will still be, or 0 divided by x, I mean, will still be 0. Therefore, y prime equals to 3x squared, which is the general slope. Step 2. If you look at the specific slope that's given to you, the slope is going to be 12. If you can find these coordinates, that means you can equate the general slope with the specific slope. So 3x squared equals to 12. And again, be mindful that the exponent tells you the maximum number of solutions. So in this case, since it says x squared, maximum two solutions. Now, the opposite of multiplying by 3 is to divide by 3. So x squared equals to 4. The opposite of squaring something is to find the square root. And again, there are two cases x equals 2 plus or minus 2. That's not what they're asking. They're not asking just for the x components. They're asking for the exact location. They're looking for the coordinates. So to find the exact coordinates, you have to take the x values, plug it back in to the original function. So in the first case, for x equal to 2, that's going to be 2 to the power of 3 plus 2. So y equals to 8 plus 2, which is 10. So therefore, the first coordinate is going to be 2, 10. Likewise, if you look at the second case, you plug in y or you plug in x to be negative 2 back into y. So negative 2 cubed plus 2. That's negative 8 plus 2, which is negative 6. Therefore, the second coordinate is going to be negative 2, negative 6. I hope this makes sense.